Hello there, this is DBT and this is Art of Runes. And alright, let's continue playing some more Asphalt 9 and today I'm gonna be driving my Lamborghini Aventador SV in multiplayer to determine how far can it take me? Oh yeah, it's time to bring another underdog Lambo into the mix to see what it can do. So I'm gonna be playing classic series, in fact I am somewhat low in the Platinum League uh, kind of getting near to the ranking, but that was on purpose precisely to try this Lambo, you know, from a low position of Class A. Now, if you're curious, this is amongst the quote-unquote worst la uh, cars in general in Class A. All of this is the super low classes, pretty much unusable. Over here, we have the event of the RSV. Now, that's not to say it's a terrible car, but it definitely is not really a good one. So, let's see what this car is about. Uh, regarding the top speed, it's actually pretty fast. It's faster than the average Class A car at 366. By the way, without epics, I believe I haven't applied epics. Oh, it only has one over there. Do I have any other epics? Never mind. I do have some, a few epics here and there. How about I do the last epic for acceleration? Ah, might as well. All right. So now you you know how I have it upgraded. I'm not gonna spend more because I'm trying to save some credits. But all right. So top speed is kind of high. Acceleration is just okay, even with all of the epics. Handling, it's low, very low, and Nitro, it's on the good side. Not amazing, but definitely good. So, without further ado, let's try it out. And again, because I'm in low class, or rather low platinum, I'm still going to be fighting a lot of class B cars that are in the brink of ranking up. Um, and yeah, I got a lot of class B, even a class C car over here, but this is Auckland. And unfortunately, this is not going to be a great track for my Aventador, because like I said, the handling of, of this thing isn't good. But handling doesn't really tell you the story on the drifting. And is the drift of this car amazing? No, nowhere, nowhere near close to that. So in general, this Lambo definitely is one that benefits in top speed oriented tracks with a bunch of straights. And if you have to do a bunch of drifts, ah, you're going to have problems. So keep that in mind. And again, that's not me saying that this car is a straight up trash. It isn't. Uh, with some decent skills, you can still do pretty all right. And when I say some decent skill, I don't mean like mine. Mine are bad. Just saying that if you're a better player, you're definitely gonna get better <laughs> results than mine. Sorry, buddy, I didn't mean to push you. Um, but yeah, so you just gotta get used to this car, the bad drift, and all of that stuff. Try to make up for it. Try to avoid drifting as much as you can. And just deal with the bad handling because, oh boy, it is a bit of a challenge. Um, but still, not the absolute worst thing that you're gonna drive in this class. So there is that to keep in mind. In fact, I have seen some people do some pretty good races with this car. And I'm like, man, that, sh that shows, as usual, that the car, while the car is a big um, factor as to how good or bad you're going to do in a race, the skills matter a lot. So when you got some decent skills or some really good skills, even if you're driving a somewhat bad car, you might still be able to do some amazing stuff. And then again, there's just the straight up randomness of multiplayer. You know how this works. Um, that sometimes you're gonna get some races in which you're gonna do absolutely amazing for absolutely no reasons and some of the races where you should win but random stuff happens and that is that so yeah look at this i was taking over or the first place from that corvette but he was able to drift so much better my drift was terrible and because of that i ended up in second place and keep in mind i'm class a versus class b so make of that what you will all right yeah corvette grand sport but i did beat the vantage and, and nsx the nsx more surprisingly did beat the grand sport uh, which, by the way, was overclocked, so... Well done on that NSX, well done. Holy moly, that's a Porsche and... What is it? 935, is that the name of it? Man, I never see that car anywhere, jeez. Um, from what I remember, that is not an amazingly fast car, but insanely good at handling and... and you know, kind of like a Corvette, in the sense that, you know, good nitro, good, good handling. I'm not sure about the acceleration though, but hey, who knows, whatever. Uh, but yeah, ooh, look at that, the Alstan, someone brought the SE18. I actually come to think about it, isn't the car in this game just named the Lamborghini SE18? I don't think it has the full name, which is the Lamborghini SC18 Alstan. Why is it called Alstan? Well, who knows? There's some speculation that it was named after either the owner or the son of the owner of the car. Because that car is a one-off for Lamborghini. There's literally one mother f I'm fine. I'm fine. Um, either it's the name of the owner or of the son. Because that, that car was basically by commission. It's a one-off, but it's not a one-off that Lambo just built and some random person bought. Instead, it was a, a one-off 
that someone paid a lot of money to have a lot of input on the car's design and whatnot. They built it and... Oh, God. Oh, God. Wrong route. Wrong route. Well done, DBT. And from what I understand, the car sold for something like... Oh, no. Maybe the, the amount of money it sold for was not disclosed. But it had been speculated that in general, one-offs like this tend to sell... Lamborghini one-offs like this tend to sell like that, rather for 7 million or something like that. So yeah, there's some speculation about that. But yeah, the full name of the car is the Lamborghini SC18 Alston. Why am I talking about the Alston on a video about the Lamborghini Super Veloce? Who knows? But here we are. Oh boy. Yeah, all right. Thanks to that knockdown. Fourth place. Yay. This is why I prefer to play in Ghost Season, to be completely honest. But oh well. It is what it is. Um, I did beat the SC18, surprisingly. Wow, that's actually surprising. It's a little bit slower, but has much better everything. Um, Grand Sport 935. Oh, they disconnected. They probably just rage quit because something happened and they're like, nah, I'm not dealing with this. Understandable. Now, very similar to the Lamborghini Asterion that I showed you, this is another car that does have body kits. And you can make the car look. I mean, you make you can make the car look something. Ah, whatever. Look at this. Look at this thing. Now, granted, it's not as crazy as the body kit for the for the Asterion, but it still looks pretty good with the added roof scoop, which, by the way, I'm not sure that that would be a very useful roof scoop, but oh well. Um, yeah, and the diffuser change, the wing change, a bunch of little changes, this this little whatever they're called. So yeah, looks pretty crazy. So let's try it out like that. I'm sure that's going to make me drive so much better. And we're back on Auckland. Yay! A bunch of tracks in which this car is not going to shine. Let's go. Um, I see a VLF, which is also a car that's not going to do great on us. There's a Ferrari. I saw a Huracan. There's probably some Corvette Grand Sport somewhere. Yeah. You know, it's the expected stuff. Yeah, that's the VLF, isn't it? I think that was the VLF. Which is another very fast car in Class A. A low... Let's say low class... Low... Mid low, no, it's a straight up low, I would say. Class A car, dude. Would you stop pushing me? Jesus Christ, these people don't know how to drive. I'm fine, I'm not raging. You are raging, everything is all right. Jesus Christ, these people don't know how to use their brakes or drift at all. I'm fine, I'm perfectly fine. And this is why I always say that in classic series, you want to bring cars that are agile. For the most part, the, the faster cars, again, if you know how to drive them, then you might be able to do great and all of that. If you're a super defensive player and whatnot, sure. Or super aggressive, I suppose. But for the most part, uh, it's better to bring the agile cars in classic series precisely so that if someone is pushing you, and even though I got knocked down, but even if I, got knocked, if I hadn't gotten knocked down, I would, still, I would still have lost. I would have still lost a lot of the speed on that. So that is why you want to bring cars that are much more agile and that they can recuperate their top speed, or rather the speed in general, much faster. So if you're bringing a, a, um, a sluggish car in Classic, you're asking for troubles because people are just going to be spamming the very agile cars. And well, to be fair, that is the meta in those situations. So <sighs> it's fine. Look, the BLF still did, did pretty good. So kudos to him. Midwest. I don't know how we're gonna do over here. Oh, is that a was that a Pagani Imola? Imola, how are you pronounce it? Uh, again, Grand Sports. Man, oh the Grand Sports and the Hurricanes and the Vandas. I'm fine. I'm fine. It's not that I hate the cars. It's just that they're so so good, which makes them so spam. Oh boy, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. But all right, let's focus on my race. Let's try to avoid. Getting into knockdown. Mother f I'm. I'm alright. You know what? I normally don't rage quit races, but. Sometimes, man. Sometimes. I think I'm not gonna talk about that mechanic that I don't like because it seems that every time I mention it, I'm summoning it. So I'm gonna pretend it doesn't exist and instead just focus on my proper driving techniques and just be able to do amazing over here. Now, to be completely honest, like I said, you're kind of asking for a bit of trouble if you're bringing a car like this into classic series. Now, I understand that not everybody has the opportunity to bring a, oh, an amazingly um, agile car. But hey, like you saw, you can always bring a Hurricane, you can always bring a... Come on, come on. You can always bring a Corvette Grand Sport and things like that and just call it a day. Because 
really. Going for top speed, sluggish cars in general, in classic, it's just not good for you, period. There's no two ways about it. So I think this car is one that, for example, would shine much more if you're bringing it in something like um, Ghost Slipstream because of the top speed or even just a straight up Ghost. If you're good enough to, to keep the speed going, you should be alright because nobody can collide with you. You just focus on, on getting to your top speed as quick as possible. And guess what? You go much, much faster than Hurricanes and even way faster than, uh, than a Corvette Grand Sport. But yeah, bringing it over here in Classic, eh... You see, you see the price that you gotta pay when you're doing such a thing. And again, as usual, I don't want to make it sound like I'm just blaming it on the car. I understand that there's some skill issues involved over here as well, but, you know, just just providing you a wider point of view, I suppose. Second place, Jesus, the first decent result that I get in this video. Holy mother. I'm fine. I'm perfectly fine. All right, 19 Spider beat me. Did beat the Onyx, Hurricane, uh, Huara BC, Vanda, Hurricane, and an another 19 Spider. Oh, boy. Oh, interesting. Someone brought a Senna GTR. Man, I'm excited to get the car hunt for the Senna GTR going. Because I'm definitely going for it. I already have the car at like... Well, it's going to be a key hunt, right? But I already have it at like a three stars or something. So I do want to five star it and use it. Because, man, that thing looks amazing. Sad that it has such bad drift. Uh, I, will, I will never stop complaining about the fact that Game Love decided like... Oh, what? What? I didn't mean to do the 360s, but okay. Um, that game of was like, okay, let's make the road version of the Senna handle amazing and all of this stuff. It's class S, even if very slow for class S, but hey. And then they're like, okay, and let's make the class A one, which is a proper race car, which should have amazing handling and grip and all of that. Let's make it class A, which is fine, but make it handle way worse and drift way worse because reasons. The game of really, really, it's a race car. It's a full-on race car. Yes, race cars aren't particularly fast, but they make up for it by having the most insane level of grip and handling and all of that stuff. And over here, they were like, nah, it's a worse car. Straight up worse, period. Like, ah, oh, man, why? And it's not the first time they've done it. I've talked about this to no end um, when it comes to something like the Hurricane situation that they make a, a road-legal Hurricane, the Evo Spider, to be a much, 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 much better car than something like the Hurricane Super Trofeo Evo. Which is a race car, so it's fine. First place, baby! Jesus, finally I get a proper good result. Holy moly, it only took like six races or something. Uh, Vanda, Aventador J, Hurricane, Hurricane, Peugeot, Onyx, Grand Sport, and Senna GTR. Man, poor Senna GTR. Still a lovely car. Oh no, oh no. Listen, this is a lovely track. I just don't know it. I'm terrible at this track, so. Oof. Let's see what we get over here. Now, it does have some sections that are okay for so much sluggish cars where you can just do a whole bunch of wall riding and keep a lot of your speed, but all of that is contingent on that thing that I shall not be mentioned not happening to you. So, there you go. Go, oh boy. Man, I'm telling you, the drift on this thing. It's fine. I'm fine. No, the drift isn't fine, but I am fine. Everything is... This is what I was talking about. The sections that are very friendly for some wall, wall hogging. And good thing that they removed the collision on those trees, by the way, because before you could collide on those trees, and it was such a nightmare. Now they removed it, and it feels, well, better. Makes sense, right? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here comes the jump into the water. Let's go for the water. Oh, no. Oh, I messed up the drift. I messed up the drift. Oh, man. All right. That's on me. I think I pressed brake twice. Not... To, to 360, but I was trying to drift and I guess I pressed it again and it cancelled it. Yeah, drift midair. It's a thing. Um, and that just ruined that jump completely. God damn it. I felt like maybe there was a chance, but now that that opportunity is gone and now I have to survive with getting a fifth place. Though, I think this was a seven player race, so getting a fifth place still means that I technically beat a couple people who rage quit. So, that counts for something, right? It's gotta count for something. Come on. Um, all right, so Vanda, Vanda, uh, Super Legera, Vanda, and a Hurricane, and an Aventador G were the SV, were the ones that quit. All right. All right, we're in a certain track where I totally haven't played today. Not at all. Never before, so everything is fine. Don't worry about it. DBT is all right. DBT is doing perfectly fine. 
So why don't you tell me in the comments what is your experience with this car? Have you have you found yourself doing amazing things with this car? Or do you indeed find it to be so much subpar and getting destroyed by those much more agile cars? And I'm legit very curious because obviously this is just my experience from my own way of playing the game, you know, being very um, peaceful in the way that I play, meaning I, I, I'm not constantly aiming. Oh, God! not constantly aiming for knockdowns or anything like that but maybe you're a bit of a more aggressive player maybe this plus some aggressiveness means amazing results kind of doubt it because again you do 360s on the on the floor and you're gonna lose a lot of speed so i don't know okay good nitro means this whole section at very good speed let's go not that that was enough to catch up to the other dudes but hey i gotta take every single small little w that i can semi w Wait, I'm in fifth place? It's not too bad, to be honest. Not too bad, I'll say. Come on. Oh, choose this, I'm fine. Calculated. Alright, alright. No, stop spinning. Would you stop spinning? Thank you. I did one more spin than I needed to. Come on. Why you gotta be like that, game? Okay, I'm not catching up to those dudes, but... Listen. Even at fifth place, it's... Okay, considering that I'm driving a car that isn't necessarily amazing, so I'll take it. Like I said, small Ws, it's fine. Ooh, I finished some races, apparently. Let's go. Um, defeated by two Vandas, a Huayra BC and a Hurricane, but I did beat a Van... Excuse me, a Vanda 918 and a Vantage GT12. Oh, interesting. All right, this is my chance. This is it. This is my only chance. We're in a top speed oriented track, and I'm amongst the fastest cars of this this roster right here. Now, I did see a Valhalla, which is even faster than me. So the Valhalla is definitely going to get a W. But my objective here is just to not take a massive L. Whether or not that's going to be the case, I don't know. But listen, a man got to try, and that's all you got to do in this. Yeah, look at that Valhalla. And that's all that a man can do. Try. All right. Try and hope for the best. So I'm going to get close to that, get the near miss, and... Oh no, why am I? Oh, why did I go on the, on the, what's the word for that? Grass. I'm like, pasto, that's the word in Spanish. Grass. Oh, DBT, stop messing up. DBT, you're messing up. Oh man, what's wrong with you, DBT? This was your chance. This was your race. And you went onto the grass and then hit a bunch of, ah! a bunch of cars. Focus, DBT, focus. Oh, I thought someone got knocked down, but no, someone just disconnected. Oh, he went for an extremely high jump. Oh, I missed that nitro, I needed it! Oh! <laughs> listen, listen, third place, that's still something, all right? It wasn't so bad. I, I, if I had driven a little bit better, driven, driven, what, what kind of word is that? Still, not too terrible. I'll take it. I'll take it. It wasn't too bad. So, if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Hit the like button. Again, give me your suggestions of what other cards to do an episode of How Far Can It... You know how that goes. Uh, how that goes. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.